Hi, I'm Jen Goldbeck, and I'm here to talk to you about my book, Analyzing the Social Web. Social network analysis has been around for a long time, but social media and online social networks have really changed the way we do that sort of research. Before, a sociologist may have spent years putting together a data set with a few hundred people in a social network. On the other hand, computer scientists have studied networks, which include social networks, and those were larger, but they had a much more anemic set of underlying data. We didn't know a lot about the people or their relationships in the network. Now, with social media, there's an abundant source of easy-to-access information about people's social interactions and their relationships with each other, but it challenges both of those paradigms. A simple computational approach, even if it's doing a lot of complex math, doesn't understand the social nature of the interactions that people are doing. On the other hand, traditional sociological approaches aren't able to deal with the huge volume of data that you have if you're looking at social networks and social media on the web. This book is designed to teach students a combination of techniques that are both quantitative and qualitative that pull from computational, mathematical, sociological, and psychological backgrounds and teach them to integrate those tools and use them in combination to analyze these large online social networks. In the book, you spend the first half learning these tools, which include standard network analysis techniques that are quantitative, information visualization, and a set of sociological tools. Each chapter has examples that allow people to work through and practice that particular technique. In the second half of the book, we do a series of case studies in different domains where students are shown how they can leverage different techniques that were covered in the first half of the book and apply them to particular problems. It doesn't require any programming background or any mathematical background, and similarly, no background in sociology. The book's really designed as an introduction to teach the process of analysis to both undergraduates and early level graduate students who are interested in working in this space. It's new because it's the first book that looks both at this combination of techniques and also their application to networks at a scale like we see in social media. My favorite chapter of the book is at the end where I show how social network strategies particularly applied to social media, can be used to survive the zombie apocalypse. I'm frankly astonished that the publisher let me keep this chapter in there, but it's a nice way to tie together all the techniques and all of the examples that we've done in a fun way to really see the wide range of spaces where you can apply this, both in communication, in online spaces, and also offline. I hope you enjoy the book. You'll be able to find more information online on the book website. And if you Google me, there's lots of ways to contact me on the internet.